Hi guys and welcome back to another video tutorial on processing data in Python. We are going to look at how to get the JSON format. Um, so after introducing some of the most Python important Python packages for data analytics, we take a small step back to describe some of the tools of interest to load and manipulate data from different formats with Python. Most social media APIs provide data in JSON or XML format. Python comes well equipped from this point of view with packages to support these formats that are part of the standard library. For convenience, uh, we will focus on JSON as this format can be mapped nicely into Python dictionaries and it's easier to read and understand. The interface of the JSON library is pretty straightforward. You can either load or dump data from and to JSON to Python dictionaries. So if we consider this example, that is a snippet that is shown here, if you run it, so we get the name printed and then the data. And uh, the json.loads and json.dumps functions manage the con conversion from json strings to python dictionaries and back. There are also two counterparts, json.load and json.dump, which operate uh, with file pointers in case you want to load or save json data from two files. The json.dumps function also takes a second parameter indent to specify the number of characters of the indentation which is use, useful for predict printing. When manually analyzing more complex JSON files, it's probably convenient to use an external JSON viewer that performs pretty printing within the browser, allowing the users to collapse and expand the structure as they wish. There are several free tools for this. Some of them are web-based services such as JSON Viewer, where you, where you can find at, at this link. And this is the uh, uh, application. The user simply needs to paste a piece of JSON or pass a URL that serves a piece of JSON and the viewer will load it and display it in a friendly format. So if you take this data, which is from this uh, curly bracket to the first curly bracket and we paste it in, in the text area, and then we go to the viewer and we can see that we get it very structured and nicely way to use it. So as you can see from this, from here, uh, from this uh, screenshot, is that the likes field is a list that can be collapsed to hide its element and ease the visualization. Uh, while this example is minimal, this feature becomes extremely handy to inspect complex documents with several nested layers. So when using a web-based service or browser extension, loading large JSON documents for pretty printing, you can clog up your browser and slow your system down. That's, that's a tip. So this was an introduction to how to process data with Python for the JSON format. So uh, in the next video, we are going to talk about how to build complex data pipeline just then just uh, uh, just an example and tips for how to do that so see you in the next video